Houston of Houston Happens. What is happening? My favorite day at Rodeo Houston. I cover it every single year, Armed Forces Appreciation Day. It's a day that we get to honor and support our brave men and women and all their families. And I'm joined by some very special guests, as you can see, and talented, I might say. But first, introduce yourself. Well, good morning, and good thanks morning. so much for having us. My name is Chief Warrant Officer Steve Talbot. I'm the director and officer in charge of the Marine Forces Reserve Band stationed in New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for your service. How long have you been serving for? Uh, this May will be 20 years for me. Geez, so what is it about today, Armed Forces Appreciation Day? What does it mean to you? Well, today is special for us as active duty Marines because this is a real opportunity for us to directly give back to the community that gives so much to us throughout the years. And it's also a way for us to honor veterans and celebrate the achievements of those that are currently serving. And what is your favorite part about serving? Favorite part of service for me is the look on the faces of our next generation of Americans. Those young children that are seeing us in the parades, marching by, playing music. Uh, the pride that we're able to show them in our service and seeing them really embrace that. You just gave me chills, and that's what it's all about. Again, thank you for your service. And the band, they are really talented. How long have you been working with them? I've been working with this band since June of last year, and you're right, this is just a fantastic group of musicians, Marines, and human beings. All right, well, speaking of amazing human beings, I'm going to slide on here. I have someone very special joining us. I mean, pretty much a local celebrity, if you will. Introduce yourself to everybody. I'm Master Sergeant Stacy Crowther, and I'm the Instrumental Division Head at the Naval School of Music in Virginia Beach. And she's a local from Alvin, Texas. Yes. I'm from Alvin, Texas. So what does it mean to be back here at Rodeo Houston on Armed Forces Appreciation Day? And thank you for your service. Absolutely, my pleasure, thank you. Uh, being here for Armed Forces Appreciation Day, I come every year. If I'm not working with the band, I'm here on leave. Uh, 2016 was my first time working with the band, and I've been uh, every year since. And why are you, besides being amazing, so <laughs> well known? Uh, I was the first female assistant drum major for the President's Own United States Marine Band in D.C. So for all of the women out there, I mean, that gives me chills. I'm so proud of you. I'm in awe of you. What would you say to the young women out there? To the young women out there, stay true to yourself. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do anything, and never sell yourself short. Thank you. Thank you. I love those words. Thank you so much. Those will stick with all of us for sure. Now, we have to come back to you, my friend. Lots going on. I see you have this ready. You're ready to conduct us. You guys are going to be performing. So tell us what you're going to be playing for us. Sure. We're going to bring a little taste of the Big Easy from New Orleans here to Texas, and we're going to play Bourbon Street Parade. All right. Well, take it away. Thank you so much.
can't escape justice. She was gonna get me. What'd you do? I hear <laughs> Judge Mattis. Next on CW 39 Houston. Bad truck wreck? Some insurance companies can be difficult. We go at them where it hurts. In their greedy little pockets. Hit it. Call this number. Let us fight for you. Jim Adler, Bill Adler. It's a go for the Texas Hammer. Paula and Joaquin are a softball family. I guess we had a chance to spend some time with my daughter. From T-ball to now, it's just grown so much. Gaetano is an insurance agent. I've been with AAA Insurance for 10 years. I love being with AAA because I love helping our members. It definitely, it was an yeah. easy transition. We looked at the statement for our previous insurer and then AAA, you know, definitely we've seen a huge difference. But that's just one part of the picture. A lot of insurance companies can quote you a low price. But what are they not telling you? Do you have a huge deductible, low limits, or caps? What about rental coverage? With the AAA Full Picture Quote, you can see what you've been missing. We're a AAA family now. Moving forward, we're going to be able to save so much money. Switch to insurance through AAA Texas. You could save an average of $483. Call 888-283-8427 for your free AAA Full Picture Quote. Rooms to Go anniversary sale starts Saturday, and we're turning up the savings to a whole new level. With amazing sale prices on the hottest pieces and coolest packages store wide. Now, who doesn't like the sound of that? Whether you shop online or in store, make your move this month and celebrate in style. The Rooms to Go anniversary sale starts this Saturday. Tomorrow is more than just a fresh start. Tomorrow is a long time coming. It's continuing the work we started over 20 years ago by growing our investments in solar and wind. Bridging to a sustainable energy future. truck wreck some insurance companies can be difficult we go at them where it hurts in their greedy little pockets hit it call this number let us fight for you jim adler bill adler it's a go for the texas hammer Houston Armed Forces Appreciation Day, and I am with the man behind it all. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Spike uh, Garcia. I'm a retired senior master sergeant and also the chairman of the Armed Forces Appreciation Committee. Well, first of all, thank you for your service. How long did you serve for? I served for 26 years. My goodness. Now to be in charge of this and to give back to the community that you served in, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's, it means tremendous. Me, I served two com combat deployments in Iraq. I was a uniform. People thank me when I returned. You know, so now I'm able to say thank you to our heroes that we have here. That is why we're here to say thank you for their service, and it means a lot to me for us to do that as a team. So tell me a little bit about who we're joined with. Well, right, we have over 3,500 guests today, and that includes War II veterans, Korean, Vietnam, currently serving, and Gold Star families, and we have 200 strong committee members are here to say thank you but all 35,000 volunteers from the rodeo is here and makes it seamless so we can say thank you to our heroes and I have to say I volunteer every year and handing that plate over and being able to look someone in the eye and say thank you for your service and then for saying thank you for my your support it means everything to us so how can we get involved throughout the year and give back well always whenever you do see somebody a uh, service uh, member Male, female, say thank you for what they do, and you know, see what are the, you know some better organizations that you may be able to volunteer at. Uh, but we're glad that today we're going to provide a Texas barbecue, a swearing-in ceremony, a uh, and then there's several things that will occur inside the stadium, a mud button, and all the kids, their parents uh, serve, and then obviously the repel of the U.S. flag. I know that's what really gives you chills because are we proud to be Americans? Yes, yeah. we are. 
you, each and every one of you, for your service and what you do. And for everybody at home, thank you for your service. And make sure you say thank you today. Now, Edo, it is magical out here. I have to say, the weather is cooperating, which is for good because sure. we're cooking some barbecue coming up. But uh, what's that rodeo forecast? And what else are you cooking up for me, girlfriend? Oh, well, today, yeah, it's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy. But we also have to talk about your electricity bill. Here's more on how to save on your next bill from Power Wizard. When it comes to finding the perfect electricity provider for you, never fear, Power Wizard is always here. And joining us is Christine. So great to see you. Great to see you too. So what I love is you guys are kind of like a personal shopper for us. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the ins and outs of Power Wizard. Yeah, I constantly have my friends and family text me, hey, what's the best plan to sign up for yeah. at the moment? And it definitely takes hours. So whenever <laughs> you're shopping, I mean, there's hundreds of uh, electricity plans out there. There's hundreds of companies and there's really no one-stop shop to find it. Um, so Power Wizard does that for you, and we will find you the best rate plan for you, personalized for your home. This is amazing. So how does it work? How do we get in contact with you, and what tools do you guys use? Yeah, so we have a tool that just basically shops all of the electricity plans out there in the market. Um, you can just give us a call. You can also do it online yourself. However, just way easier if you have a friendly person on the other line, um, and they can actually tell you exactly right then and there how much you'll save each month. And it's all about saving, especially with the new year. We want to spend our money elsewhere because yeah. other prices are going up, but electricity rates, they're actually going down. Absolutely. We're definitely seeing rates come down. This is a great time to switch. Rates are at 10 and 11 cents again, which we haven't seen in almost a year now. So, yeah, it's a great to get in a certain plan for sure, and you guys yeah. will take it for there. Now, what about solar power? I've seen so much about this, and I yeah. have to admit, I'm not as familiar with that. Yeah, we have some vetted and trusted solar partners. Um, we are giving basically a quote personalized for your home. So they will come, they'll give you a call, find out about your house, make sure that your rooftop is right for it, um, and then they'll actually come out to your home and give you a free quote, and no commitments. And this is what I love, no commitments and vetted, because you guys have quite the reputation. So you don't want to associate with people who don't have a good reputation, so you've yes. really vetted them, and you guys should see their reviews. You have five stars. We do. Well, hundreds of five-star Google reviews. Our members love us, um, so we wanted to keep it that way. So all of our partners are very trusted. So no matter what type that you're looking for, whether it's solar power, just regular electricity, you guys will find the perfect match for us. Tell people again how they can get in touch with y'all. Absolutely. Um, just give our customer care uh, team a call. Uh, there's always friendly experts on the other side. Um, so they'll either find a right solar plan for you or or electricity plan or both and they're trustworthy and they make it make sense so thank you as always for joining us I really appreciate thank you. you thanks for having me Wow 10 and 11 cents we'll definitely be calling up power wizard well for those out at the rodeo don't neglect your health there's a survey that asks about visits with your doctor it takes only a few minutes to complete and it's confidential and voluntary to discuss further, Dr. Stephanie Copeland joins us now live. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing swell. I'm really excited to learn more about this survey. So what type of questions do you ask and how do they contribute to someone receiving better health care? Well, every March, uh, Medicare sends out a survey to measure the quality of care that patients are receiving. And so there's questions on there, for example, when you need care for something urgent, how quickly did you get that care? That you, was it as soon as you wanted it? Or if you needed routine care or a checkup, did you get that care as soon as you needed it? So again, uh, these are questions I think every person should be asking themselves and having conversations with their doctor to ensure they can access care. If you can't access your doctor, it's really hard to have great help. So now I have little ones and I kind of find myself in this situation often. I feel like I need care quickly, but it's not life threatening. What do you tell patients in that situation? Well, you know, certainly always feel empowered to call my woman. If it's not life threatening, I know in our well med system that we have doctors on call 24 seven and we have a motto call first, right? So if it's not life threatening, have that conversation, whether it's 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. with your doctor's office. If 
let them give you that advice and that content. Because a lot of times, some of these things can be taken care of virtually with a virtual visit or in person, but they can help you work through that. Oh, thank you so much. And I do appreciate WellMed always there to answer my questions about my kids. But now, what's your advice when people need coordinated care for myself? I have asthma and allergies and all these other things. It's just overwhelming. What do you tell folks in my situation? Yes, I, I always advise make sure you have a strong, established relationship with a primary care physician. That's number one step. And then let's say you have a specialist, like in your example, maybe you have an allergist that you're working with, um, but you need to make sure that your primary care doctor knows you have that specialist and then set the time aside to have conversations with them. How are they going to help you with all that care? Because that should be your expectation uh, as well. And don't forget, if you have specific questions, always write them down. Even as a doctor, when I'm a patient, I write those questions down as well. Well, thank you so much. We'll definitely be reaching out to my well-med physicians here locally. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right, let's go ahead and talk more a rodeo. So while I'm here working hard, manning the desk, Maggie's out there getting herself into trouble. <laughs> Maggie, what do you have up coming up for us still ahead? Well, Ido, today is all about celebrating our troops. And I'm so excited to be joined by these amazing people. Introduce yourself. Uh, Staff Sergeant Corey Johnson, our Sharpstown Recruiting Station. Well, thank you for your service. How long have you served? 12 years, ma'am. My goodness, what is your favorite part about serving? Favorite part about serving is uh, taking my daughters to school and having their little friends look up to me and say, all oh, your dad's in the Army. So that's, a, that's an awesome feeling. You're a real life hero in more ways than one. I do what I can, ma'am. It's fun stuff. That's amazing. Really and what about you? Introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Sarah Minow. I'm coming from Fort Hood. And how long have you been serving for? I've been serving a little over five years. I joined straight out of high school, so I'm only 24 right now. You're a baby, a baby. Well, thank you for your service. What made you decide to enlist? Oh, so I'm not from a family that joined the military. I'm actually the first in my family. Um, but just like as a woman, I feel like I hope I can serve as someone that sets an example for other women, just letting them know, like, no profession is out of your reach. You know, it was always a great decision for me to be here. You make me proud to be an American and a woman. Thank you for talking to the women out there and the young girls out there because they can follow their dreams. Sure. Sounds good. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And for everybody out there, why would you encourage them to enlist? Uh, it all depends. Everyone has a different story. Everyone has a different background. I went to school for a little bit myself and decided that this was the best bet for a consistent income, um, steady background. Again, like Ms. Minow, sorry, Minow over there. I had family that served as well, so following their footsteps. So your biggest thing is following your own footsteps, setting your own path, setting goals, so make sure you have a dream, follow that dream, and uh, just don't be scared. And what does it mean to you today to have this day dedicated to you all? Oh, it's inspirational. It's very fun. It's one thing to go out there and go and work and do volunteer work, but it's another thing to actually interact and have a conversation with individuals who actually say thank you for your service and interact with them as well. So it's an awesome feeling on both ends, I'm sure. And are you ready? Oh, sorry, our hats touch. I didn't mean that. We can always trade if you want to. We can always trade. I didn't mean to get that close, my friend. We can always trade. It's no problem. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, are, are you looking forward to some barbecue? Oh, 1,000%. I'm, I'm, I'm a barbecue chicken fan. I'm not as good as these individuals out here, so I'm actually getting some tips on the side. So I'm learning okay. from the professionals, and uh, we can trade some tips. All right, well, I'm about to smoke some brisket out there, so I'll, get ready I'll for that. You. All right, you. you follow me. All right, well, guess what? We're cooking up more Houston Athens after the break. Thanks so much. We may have to trade hats That's after all. <laughs> you are at the heart of what we do. Customizing heart treatments, like repairing aortic aneurysms without open heart surgery. For you. Working together, sharing expertise, all for you. <laughs> and you. And you. This is innovative heart care designed for you. Memorial Herman, advancing health, personalizing care. We're here with Chris Cunahan of our local leaf filter. So Chris, what is the problem with a clogged gutter? A gutter that's clogged, all the water from your roof is gonna enter your gutter and then overflow, or maybe even worse, could be under behind the gutter. Damages that occur, rotten fascia, rotten soffit, mildew mold in the attic, 
But the big one is all that water hitting your foundation, causing thousands of dollars of damage. That sounds awful. So how can Leap Filter fix this problem? So the first thing we're gonna do is professionally clean out all your gutters, realign them, install our Leap Filter system that allows nothing but water. No debris, no shingle grit, nothing's gonna go in your gutter except for water. We're gonna push that water down to our downspout. That downspout is gonna push all the water away from the foundation. Perfect, so how do people sign up? Simple and easy, just give us a call, set up an appointment, we'll come out, give you a free gutter inspection. Folks in the greater Houston area, call 346-501-4701 or visit noclogs.com. He will not go gently into the night. It's hard, and Ukraine is right now fighting it for all of us. Democrats get searched, and Republicans get raided. We're faced with this double standard. I disagree on it. I think it was a smart strategy. Just vote what's right for the country. All right, let's bring it in. Now, I think we're ready for this Saturday. Just remember what we stand for. Style, selection, savings, and, and ease. That's right, let's go. You studied the playbook. Okay. The rooms to go anniversary sales start Saturday. Save big on great looking furniture with bonus buys, low sale prices, and 60 month interest free financing. That's financing you won't see every day. Get ready. The rooms to go anniversary sale kicks off Saturday. Let's go! Anyway! 104.1 KRBE. Home of the Rulin Riot Show. Morning, 6 to 10. This is where Houston's hit music lives. Alexa, play KRB. Houston's number one hit music station. 104.1 KRB. using Armed Forces Appreciation Day. So we are serving our troops. It's amazing. And these fellas, they are behind it all. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Justin Nee. I'm the vice chair on over barbecue and hospitality here for Armed Forces Appreciation Day. So how many people are you going to be serving today? So we're looking to feed 3,000. Uh, yeah, we'll bust them in from Fort Hood, Fort Polk, and a couple other installations around town. Uh, we started cooking at 5 a.m. this morning. We'll go through 1,200 pounds of chicken, 900 pounds of sausage, what? 55 gallons of potato salad, and 1,200 hot dogs. Don't forget the beans. Yeah, we got. Uh, I think we've got <laughs> 200, Don't forget the beans. 200 gallons of beans going over there, so that's for sure. I always say that because I volunteer every year, and we're like, beans on the line, beans on the line. I don't know what. They always want the beans and, of course, uh, your sauce, for sure. That's it, man. It's uh, We really put a, a good product together. We're proud of what we do out here. Uh, it's the least we can do to give back to these guys for all the sacrifices they've made for us. Now, we've had some that have served. Yeah, yeah, so. In fact, I think our friend over here, introduce yourself, friend. Tim Riddle, uh, been on the committee for uh, seven years now and a uh, Marine Corps veteran. Well, thank you for your service. And I rope him in every year to do one of my live shots because this is my favorite day. What does it mean to you to give back, especially on Armed Forces Appreciation Day? Uh, it, it means a lot. Uh, I, I, after serving, I, I spent some time overseas working as well, and this is kind of my way to continue to give back to our, our war fighters uh, here on our home soil. So. Yeah. And what about you? Introduce yourself there. Oh, hello. My name is Nick Murgo. I'm assistant captain on the team, and I'm excited to be here. For me, I've got a lot of family members that have served, and honestly, you know, they're the most humble, most gracious people that you can possibly meet. They all come out here. They thank you. It's just one day, and the way I look at it is a way for me to give back to all the services and sacrifices they make. Yeah, it's, there's something about when you hand over the plate and you get to look them in the eye and say thank you for your service. There's nothing more beautiful than that moment. I completely agree, yes. Yeah. Now, how can we support people and support you throughout the entire year? So y'all are welcome to come out today. I know the troops come in. They love seeing a good show of force, which tonight's Brooks and Dunn, so that's going to be easy. Um, but season ticket holders and people that have tickets, they can actually do a ticket turn back if they're not going to be able to make it, and we'll distribute those uh, tickets to um, active duty personnel that live in town and veterans. Great. Now, that's a lot of meat and a lot of things. So do you need people to donate throughout the year? How does that, and how do we get on the committee? Yeah, so uh, you have to go through the regular process, of course. We are a smaller committee to do a lot of work. Um, so you can apply online, of course. Uh, as far as donations go, we always take corporate donations, and they can reach out through y'all at the station, or I guess they could contact the rodeo looking for. Uh, Cowboys for Heroes, which is another organization, and Prosix Smokehouse donated 900 pounds of sausage for us this year. So, um, yeah, the more that we can have donated, the less comes out of our budget and the more tickets we're able to buy. 
That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And introduce yourself to everybody. I'm Steve Perot, and I just work here. How long have you been working here for? Uh, about seven years now. Why do you do what you do? Because it's the most, I think somebody was saying earlier, it's just a humbling experience. It's great to see everybody come out here. We have the USO come from Southern California. We have the marching band from New Orleans. We have a lot of people working very hard to pull this all together. And it's all just done by donation. It's a, um, we raise money as a committee member. Uh, we raise money to help support all of this. So appreciate the help, but enjoy the work. Well, I appreciate you guys and what you're doing. Thank you so much. God bless y'all. Today's my favorite day, and I, we have a lot of fun, too. They let me back, or they let me keep coming back. Beans and I'm gonna, there. Beans on the line, beans on the line, and sausage. You always want that sausage. All right, you guys. Well, that is a wrap on today's show, but I will be back out here live tomorrow morning. In the meantime, howdy and bye for now, y'all.